Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live, not live, from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Facebook Live. It is October 4th, Sunday evening, and I happen to be out of town this weekend, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't leave you hanging. So I have some fantastic projects to share with you. I also have um, some mail that I wanted to share with you. I'm going to mirror my screen, maybe. Here we go. It's always such a challenge to remember how to do all of this. Did it mirror? There we go. Okay. So first of all, I wanted to share a really pretty card from Amy Judd. And Amy is from New Zealand. So holy cow, Amy, thank you so much. Look at this pretty, pretty card. Isn't that gorgeous? And Amy sent me this card saying thank you so much for taking the time to put together the Sunflower online class. That was one of my favorites. As I do not live in the USA, I was excited to find there was a way to become part of the Stamp Above team. Best wishes for a happy and healthy Christmas season to you and yours. So Amy ordered my Celebrate Sunflowers online class. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my online classes tonight. But you can always find those on my blog, www.estampabug.com. And in the right-hand column, there are some buttons there, and one of those buttons is online classes. The next card that I received was from Susan Reed. Look how pretty that is with the magnolias. Mm, love it. She says, thank you so much for the folder and ribbon. I love getting happy mail, and on my birthday, it arrived. That was pretty lucky, right? She says, thanks a million. You're welcome, Susan. Thank you so much for the pretty card. I have another really cool card here. Look at this one. This is really, really pretty. And this is from my friend, Susan. Susan Heim. And Susan sent me a little note that she and her friend are planning to make some cards. They've been making quilts. Now this is my friend, Susan, that is down south of here in Wisconsin. Her and all of her friends make these amazing, gorgeous quilts, and they donate them to veterans. So she sent me a picture this week of one of the veterans that got, they donated a quilt to, and oh, it was so, so pretty. I donated a whole bunch of supplies that I had left over, you know, when stuff retires, when Stampin' Up! retires stuff. Um, I need to get it out of my house to make room for new stuff, right? So I donated a whole bunch of stuff to Susan and her card making friends and they make a ton of cards for all different kinds of very good um, reasons. So the veterans get cards when they give them quilts and um, just makes my heart happy. Thank you, Susan. Let's set that back here. I'm not going to give away prizes tonight. I'm gonna to wait until I'm back live next week and we'll do it then because this is not as exciting as a real Facebook Live, I have to tell you. It's like, where are my comments? Nobody's, I feel like I'm talking to myself and of course I am. So, uh, let's see. I'm gonna give you a little update on what's going on. Um. We have a brand new sale that started on Thursday, October 1st, a designer series paper sale. We have um, a whole bunch of our designer series paper and it's a select amount of designer series paper that is on sale for the month of October. So make sure you check that out. It's a great time to stock up on paper, get it at a discount, which is wonderful. Now, if you're on my team, you get your additional discount, whatever your discount is, whether you're at 20%, 25%, you get an additional discount on this paper that's on sale. So make sure you check those numbers out too because that's pretty cool. Now, if you're wondering how to get on my team, my team is um, a lot of fun and it is mostly made up of discount shoppers. I have some business builders also, but most of my team members are discount shoppers and they ordered the starter kit, which is completely customizable, and they get a discount on all their future orders, among a whole bunch of other things. You get my online classes for free, um, you get free training, 
if you want to learn how to build a business, you can, but I never push people any more than they want to do. They come to me. So, um, you can get that additional discount. That's where I was going with that. I'm like, oh my Lord, where was I? <laughs> and then I wanted to give you a John update. Now, last time we were together, you and I, um, I told you that John had a wood window in the back of his work van. And Steve had talked to him and found out that John had backed into a branch and broke out his window, which if you remember right, I told you he's done that a couple times. The only thing I have to report about John is that he still has a wooden window in the back of his work van. So it's not fixed yet, but I'll let you know. Don't worry. <laughs> Val stopped in this week. Oh my gosh, she's getting so big, you guys. So if Haley lays her down on the floor on her back, Val will turn over and push herself up into a sitting position. And then she'll she'll also be on her hands with her legs out behind her and pull her legs up under her and kind of rock back and forth and she can wiggle around that way. She's not crawling yet, but she's super close. Um, she went to daycare a couple days this week and she absolutely loves it there. Haley thinks she really likes the other kids. Like she's just so entertained by them. So that really makes my heart happy too, right? Because I don't know. You'd hate for your child to be at daycare hating it. I remember when I was a kid, um, I had a babysitter and she wasn't very nice. And um, I also had a younger sister. My mom and this babysitter were kind of friends that wasn't very nice. And um, there came a point where my mom took me to a different babysitter where there were some kids from my class there. And I, I really enjoyed that because nobody was being mean. So isn't that funny? Like, so then that's always like, oh, I hope the babysitter's nice. This babysitter is fantastic. She's also one of my helpers. So I know her. Loves kids. Kids love her. And she is just like the best. Anyways. So, um, wanted to let you know, in case you missed it, did you see this cute little box? This is our mini pizza box that I made last week for a blog hop. And just in case you missed it. Here are the little cards, matching cards. Now, I'm showing you this because I have an online class called Arrange a Wreath. And you can find all the information for it on my blog. You can get the class for free when you order the product bundle from me. Or you can order the online class with the pre-cut cardstock pack. And you get the pre-cut cardstock with the whole bundle too. Or you can order just the online class. That is available no matter where you live in the world, the last one, the, just the online class. But it's got six cards in it using the Arrange a Wreath bundle of products and um, a box and then four cards for the box. So it's pretty darn cool. I am going to be getting those, um, all that cardstock cut and ready to roll this, this week. So um, watch, if you've ordered that, watch for it to come in the mail for you. If you do order the option number one with the whole product bundle, I have that shipped directly to you from Stampin' Up! So just know that. And yesterday, Saturday, was World Card Making Day. Oh my gosh! I really wanted to do some special something for World Card Making Day, but... Um, my week kind of got away from me. I was super, super busy. I, by the way, I am feeling 100% now. I am having no more problems, a headache once in a while from being sick. But um, I am running at 110% now. <laughs> you know, 100 miles an hour. And um, so I got uh, around 60 kits out of here this last week. And I will be working on the Arrange a Wreath pre-cut cardstock packs this next coming weeks, or I mean this week, because it's Sunday and I have to keep remembering that. I'm pre-recording, so that gets confusing and you know it doesn't take much, right? <laughs> okay, so anyways, back to my subject. I wanted to do something for car World Card Making Day, but my week was so busy. I worked some really long hours this week just trying to get myself back together after being sick for so long that I just didn't have time. But one thing that I did do was I shared a whole bunch of card ideas. We have these project sheets that we make 
where we make a card and then we make a project sheet with all the ingredients and the dimensions and then some instructions and photographs. That's something that I've been sharing on my Facebook VIP page. If you have ever placed an order with me, you should be in that private group. And if you're not in that private group, pop me an email or message me and ask me and I can add you to it. But it is only for people who have placed an order in my Stampin' Up! online store. So I just want to make that perfectly clear. It's a group that I made so that I can provide extra, give a little extra love to the people who are placing orders because let's be real, that's how I pay my bills, right? <laughs> so um, I did add some great projects in the last week to the VIP group. And if you're not in there and you think you should be, let me know. Now, once you place an order with me, how long do you get to be in that VIP group? It's kind of a lifetime membership at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go back and go, oh, she hasn't placed an order in two years. I don't have time for that. Let's, again, be real. But um, it is a lifetime membership, and it's something that I do special things in. Not regularly, but um, I do special things in there. Sometimes I do special giveaways. I'm sharing, like I said, all of these project sheets with some great card ideas. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. So if you think you should be in there and you're not, let me know. All right, and I just wanted to make a complaint. So um, you guys know that I love candy corn, right? I love the candy corn. And you know, I bought an assorted pack and it's got these little pumpkins in there. And while they're super, super cute, I don't like them. <laughs> this is like corn with a ton of sugar in it. This is too much. Like, they need to be smaller. So, I don't like these pumpkin ones. But I can tell you that since it's corn, well, and I think pumpkins are kind of vegetables too, aren't they? But since it's corn, it's got to be good for me, right? We talked about this. Anyways, I just thought I'd let you know that I have eaten almost an entire bag of assorted pumpkins and candy corn things since we last stamped together. Yeah, sugar buzz. <laughs> okay, so tonight I have some fantastic projects for you. I'm looking at them because they're so pretty. One of them is a gatefold card that I'm going to show you how to make, which is super easy. I love fun folds. You know that. The other one is a treat pouch. And I'm kind of doing double duty today because um, I am in a group where we make projects for the 12 weeks of holidays. A lot of people do 12 weeks of Christmas. I do 12 weeks of holidays. And the holiday that I have is Halloween. And I'm going to be um, using the Hallows Night Magic stamp set with the dies and the whole suite of project magic in this, the whole suite of products. Magic in this night is the whole suite in our holiday mini catalog. Now, while my projects are Halloween themed, the gatefold can be used for any occasion as well as the treat holder. And I'm in this 12 weeks of holidays group and I needed to use this bundle and I needed to make a card and some type of a 3D thing. So I thought, ooh, I'm gonna make that and I'll use it for that group, but I'm also going to be sharing it with you tonight. So double duty, winning, <laughs> right? That's always good when you can do that. Okay, I am ready to flip my camera around and we're gonna get started on these projects. They're really cool. I hope you like them as much as I do. And I think they're pretty simple to make. Hang tight. I'm going to unmirror my screen so that everything isn't backwards. And then I need to turn my camera around. Almost ready. Hang on. Ooh, I'm lucky. I think I hit a button on my phone and I'm like, oh, did I just like click something to turn you off? I did not. So I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Um, I actually went to Michigan this weekend with my friend Dina. And since I haven't left yet because we're pre-recorded, I can't tell you about it, but I know we're having a great time. <laughs> okay. First thing we're going to do is the card. 
Now, this is the magic in this night designer series paper. It is part of the designer series paper that's on sale. So, um, the one thing that I really like about this paper is while some of it has a little Halloween theme, the rest of it doesn't, and it's just very kind of elegant. It almost, I, I get an Elvira feel from it if you want to go there. But we've got spiders, and then we just have this, um, it's not really checkered pattern, argyle. Is that argyle? Yeah. And then we have these flowers, and while they do have some little spider webs in them, we also have this stripes. Bats with flowers, um, these, whatever you call this kind of design, some more flowers. This is kind of a lacy thing. Some bats, some flowers, and then we have the spider web. So this is a really nice paper that you can use for Halloween, but you can also use it for a lot of other ideas, which I love. Then we have the metallic mesh ribbon. Look at this stuff. This is so cool. I'm going to grab a dark card base here so you can see it a little better. This stuff is amazing, and I hope it's not on back order. I know it was super popular. I was going to check that before I came on tonight, and I completely forgot. This is the coolest stuff. This is one and a half inches called metallic mesh ribbon, part of the Magic in This Night suite. Then we have these gorgeous iridescent pearls. These are really pretty. I'm going to pull these in here just like this. And let's see, where's my, the um, black glitter paper, which, oh, I love, who doesn't love glitter paper, right? I love this paper, especially because it doesn't shed glitter. Like, you don't get glitter everywhere. It's not on your hands. It's not on your face. It's not any place. So that's really cool. And... I have to remember that I'm not making a regular video because when I make a regular video, if I like forget something, I'll just go get it. And then when I upload the video to my computer, I edit out those parts. But I got to remember I'm not on a video. I am actually on a live broadcast. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my card layers here. Give me just a second so I can get all this in here and... I'm going to eat a little candy corn, <laughs> because why wouldn't you? Okay, I think I have all my bits and pieces. So I'm going to give you dimensions, and of course you know that you can always find all the dimensions, still photos, shopping lists, complete ingredient lists on my blog after the Facebook Live is done, www.astampabove.com, and also this is my current host code, so if you place an order with me, which I always appreciate, that's what keeps free videos coming your way. If you place an order with me, this is my host code. If your order is under $150, use this code. If it's over $150, do not use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have those. Here's our card base, Blackberry Bliss, one of my all-time favorite colors. I just love how rich this is. So. We've got 11 by five and a half, and we need to do a little bit of scoring here. So I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. This is a really nice and expensive paper trimmer. It's only $25. If you need a new one, I highly recommend it. These um, cutting blades have lasted me a very long time, so that's impressive too. We're going to score at one and a quarter on the long side. This is a long side. I've got it out here at one and a quarter. And then I'm going to turn that around so we can go this way now. I'm going to hit three and three eighths. Seven and five eighths. And nine and three quarters. I wish I had some funny stories to tell you tonight. I don't think anything really funny happened this week. <laughs> Isn't that sad? I was too busy. And of course, you can only imagine all the stuff that I got behind on. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to fold on these score lines and make sure you burnish good with your bone folder. So... I folded this one in and this one back just like that. This is again called a gatefold card. I love these. They just are, you know, I love a fun fold. Like, I am nuts about fun fold cards. 
Did you guys check out my Wednesday tip video? Oh my lord, where are my cards for that? I should show you those again. I don't know what I did with them. Oh, I'm sorry, I just, oh, here they are. Hang on, if you missed my Wednesday tip video, head over to my blog and look for this card. This is faux embossing and it rocked my world. You won't believe that. It's really, really cool. So go check this out. It's also going to be my Technique Club card for the month of September. So that's for last month. I'm always kind of a month behind on that. Everybody in my Technique Club is going to get that card with an instruction card so they know how to do the technique way in the future. Hang on, I'm looking for my glue. Because if you're anything like me, I can't remember Jack, you know what. You know, there used to be a game when um, computer games first came out. There was a game called You Don't Know Jack. Did any of you have that? It was super fun, and of course, it was the coolest thing because it was one of the very first computer games. Oh, let's talk about the DSP. <laughs> How about that? You need two pieces, and I'm using the spiders, two pieces that are two inches by five and three eighths. So I've got these two here. And then you also need two more pieces. It's the same paper. We're just going to use the other side. These are one and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I'm just gluing these right on those front panels right now. Right here. And it's a very, very thin little margin. Okay, here's our gatefold. And now I'm gonna put my glue on the other side Oops. so I can get that argyle pattern as a, the front on these two, I don't know, it's almost like lapels, isn't it? A suit lapel. And this one, ah. Ooh, I hear my husband just got up. So it is actually 11.56 p.m. <laughs> here in Menasha, Wisconsin. You guys know I'm a real late night person, right? So this is how I roll. <laughs> okay, this is the inside, four by five and a quarter. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna bring in my stamp set. This is the Hallow's Night Magic stamp set. It's got eight different stamps in it. These are really cool, little bit spooky. And we are going to use, Blackberry Bliss ink to match our card base. This says there is magic in this night. I'm going to stamp this right here. That looks great. And then I've got a very, very pretty scripty. I This is very scripty too, but I love this Happy Halloween. I just think it's mm, looks really good. And there we go. Now, um, all the dies and stuff. Let's see, what do we have to do for this card? We need to do a little stamping. Where'd my scrap go? Here it is. Okay, so I've got some scraps here. I've got a Whisper White scrap and I've got um, Blackberry Bliss scrap. So I'm going to bring in my Memento Black ink pad. And I've got my bats. These bats are really cool. They're very ornate. That's a really fancy word, isn't it? <laughs> I'm shocked that I could think of it. Okay, so I'm going to stamp. I just need that big... Oh, no, you know what? I think I need both of them. Hang on, i got to get a bigger piece of paper here. I was thinking I only needed to stamp one, but I'm pretty sure that I need more than that. Here's a bigger piece. Okay, so scrap that. We're going to do over. I just threw that right on the floor. Isn't that insane? Yeah, I need to clean my office up too. So I'm going to stamp this. And then we're just going to stamp again because I need a set or one of these bats for my little treat holder. Aren't those cool? Yeah. So black ink on 
raspberry. Um, did I say raspberry? I meant blackberry. Some kind of berry. <laughs> and then we've got this really neat image. I just got my finger in the ink. I know I did. Yep, look at that. Baby wiped to the rescue. Okay, we're going to stamp this on here. Ooh. Ooh, I got some edges. That happened to me earlier today, too. So you want to make sure that you're not pushing down too hard into the ink so that you get ink in here. So let me grab... Oh, my Lord. Let me grab another scrap. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do over because I don't want to see that on the back. Where'd my stamp go? Right here. Try this again. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. We oh, yep, okay, I think we got it. We are going to Take the dies. Here comes our dies. So we've got this die. We're going to do this on the black glimmer paper. We are going to die cut one of these labels on the black glimmer paper. And then we're also going to die cut this stamped image. And we've got the bats. And where did that go? Do you guys? Oh, here it is. We're going to die cut these bats. Okay. So we're going to go over to our die cutting machine and do all this fabulous stuff. Hang on a second so I can get everything put back in place. Here's our beautiful glitter paper die cut. The other thing we're going to need is our little bats, and we're going to die cut those right along on here. This is just a die. There's no stamp for that. These are three tiny little bats. So put that back. I've got all the things over here. we got little tiny bats. Look at how cute they are, right? There's three of them that die cut at the same time. We have the black glitter label. We have the stamped label. What else do I need? Doo -doo -doo. I think that's it. Okay. We are ready to start doing some things. Oh, I need the big bats too. Where are they? Huh. Hang on. Maybe I forgot to actually, I think I ahead of time. So I am going to die cut the bats. Hang tight. We got to get our machine in here. Gosh, I thought I was all organized and ready. And well, if this is the worst thing that happens tonight, it'll be a miracle, right? <laughs> yeah, because we all know how things can quickly deteriorate on a Facebook Live. So, and I keep saying that, and you guys are like, well, you're not live, so what's the big deal? But I am broadcasting to Facebook on a live feed right now. It just happens to be in a private group. Um, because uploading to YouTube goes so much faster with a Facebook Live. If I were to record um, like a video on my own and try to upload it to YouTube that isn't a Facebook Live, it take for for like an hour. It'll take forever. Okay, look at how cool that bat is. Here comes the other one. There we go. Let me put my die back. And. This is our new die cutting machine. I love it. It's really nice. And I've been getting a lot of questions. Do um, the big dies that Stampin' Up! used to have, do they fit through there? Anything that fit through your other machine is going to fit through here. This one is actually a little bit wider, so that's nice. I also get questions for people who still have a cuddle bug. Do these plates and stuff fit in a cuddle bug? No, they're too wide. Stuff for um, this machine won't fit in a cuddle bug. All of our dies and our embossing folders and stuff like that will work, but not, um, not the cutting plates. Okay, 
back to our regularly scheduled little program here. So we're going to take this Whisper White inside and I'm going to add some glue to this layer. And then we're going to take it and put it right down here at the bottom. And I just thought this would look so neat on the inside with that black glitter. Now, of course, we need to trim off our little edges here. There we go. Okay. And then these little bats I thought would be really cool, just kind of dotted around inside here. As long as I had them and I cut them out, why not? I'm going to use the bigger one right up here. I do, I hear my husband in the kitchen, which is very odd. So he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And I always feel bad when that happens because like I am a professional sleeper. <laughs> we were just talking about that tonight actually when we were eating supper about how my friend Dina teases me that she's got so many pictures of me like from our trips, our Stampin' Up! incentive trips all over the world sleeping in all kinds of places. On buses is my favorite. You take me on a bus ride and give me a full day of some adventure in some foreign place and I will definitely sleep on the way back. <laughs> And Dina always takes pictures of me. Okay, here we go. This is a black marker, and I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to flick some ink at this layer because I just thought that would look really kind of cool and spooky. Well, let me show that to you. Now, you don't want to touch this right away. That splattered um, marker takes just a second to soak in and dry, but I just think this is really cool. So we're going to add some glue to the back of this layer. And this is going to go right inside our card. Doesn't that look neat? I really like it. I think it's pretty neat. Okay, I think I've got it in there just right. Okay, so next, we are going to do a little bit of coloring. And I know you guys like it if I can um, zoom in my camera so you can see better, but I'll try to hold it up for you. Zooming in a camera on a Facebook Live is a very dangerous thing and it just doesn't work right. So I cannot zoom in and I apologize, but it just is what it is. So I'm just coloring these little flowers with the light Blackberry Bliss. Again, I think these are just super charming, right? They're so cute in a spooky kind of way. This is just a really different kind of Halloween set. I was really happy to see it because I love the paper. And then, of course, all these images go right along with it. Then, instead of using green, I decided to use the light, whoops, pretty peacock to do the leaves. That's one of the coordinating colors in the... Um, Magic in this Night Designer Series paper. Is that what it's called? Did I just call it? Yeah, Magic in this Night. So, we got this going. I hear the ice coming out of the refrigerator in the kitchen. Oh, you guys, I'm going to share some pictures of my remodeled bedroom with you soon. The guy was here. His name is Fred. Fred was here this week and he installed the sliding barn door for my closet. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. We need to get a new ceiling fan because our ceilings are really low in this house and the ceiling fan, once you put the shiplap on the ceiling, now it's really low. So we need to get a ceiling fan that is flush mount with the ceiling so it doesn't stick out so much. Okay, um, the one thing I was going to tell you to do before you color this all in because if we screw this up now it's just kind of we just did a bunch of work I've got my Blackberry Bliss ink pad and this is the dare if open if you dare I was gonna say dare if you open that doesn't make any sense open if you dare you want to stamp this before you do any coloring okay and the reason why is because if you happen to mess this up, you haven't done any other work except stamp, um, stamped the image, right? We had colored it all up, and then if we mess it up, then it stinks. 
Then I'm going to grab this ugly little spider. Isn't that just the ugliest little thing? Yeah. Halloweeny, right? Halloweeny, Halloweeny. I'm going to stamp that right here. <gasps> Spooky. And where's our bat? Here's our bat. This is the big bat. And then we have the little bat. And I'm going to bring in my black dimensionals. We're going to put one right here in the middle. Where's my take your pick tool? Um, here it is. And we're going to put our bat. I'm going to, I'm going to wait on that. I'll put the dimensionals on this little guy too, but I'm going to wait to add those to our card because we need to take this glitter piece and we are going to cut this in half right down the middle. You guys know what I'm doing, right? Now, the easiest way I found to do this is to grab some of my crummy Amish tape and add it right here. The only thing that um, is a little easier about doing a Facebook Live when nobody's actually on here commenting is that I'm not missing your comments because you guys know I'm not very good at watching comments. It's hard to stamp and watch comments and do all the things and keep your head straight and not make a complete fool of yourself. So the comments are something that's kind of hard to monitor. And when nobody's here, <laughs> not so hard, right? Okay, so that's what I did. Isn't that cool looking? Look how neat that is. Okay, next thing we're gonna do. We have a piece of black. And this is going to be our little belly band. This is one by la, 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 nine and a half. We're going to take this and we're going to put it around our card. And this is how I did mine. I'm going to have it meet in the center. So I just kind of am eyeballing it. And I'm going to fold that over. And then I'm going to fold this over. Now you don't want to make this super tight around your card because it needs to slide up and down, right? The best adhesive you can possibly use for this type of um, uh, feature, a belly band, is tear and tape or something that is super, super strong. So I'm going with the tear and tape. And I'm just going to put it on one end here. And we're going to line this back up. You don't get a second chance with this kind of tape, so you want to make sure you get it straight the first time. Okay, so there's our belly band. Now, where did my ribbon go? Right here. This ribbon is so cool. Wait till you guys see this. It's just the neatest thing. So I'm going to wrap this ribbon right around my belly band. And that's a little long. Here we go. I'm going to tie it in a knot. I just wanted to have some nice tails on here. Okay, just like that. And we're going to trim that about here and about here. Oh, that was a little short. Oh, I'll have to cut this one a little bit more short. There we go. Okay. I want to take a mini glue dot because I don't want this ribbon sliding around. I'm just going to put a mini glue dot right in there. I just remembered I said I would hold this up and I didn't. So here's my little label. Sorry about that. It's hard to remember all the things. <laughs> okay, now we are going to add some dimensionals to our belly band. And I'm going to put one here. These are baby, baby or mini dimensionals. They're actually called mini dimensionals. And they're the black ones. So you're not going to see them sticking out from behind here. I love that about these. And I'm just going to put one right in the middle here. Okay. I want to give this label some good support. That's why I used all these little dimensionals. And now we're going to take this and we're going to put it right in the middle, just like this. And here comes our bat, spooky. 
And here comes our little baby bat. Now where are we going to put that? I think I'll put it mm, right here. So I've got that dimensional. Better make sure that that's not going to stick on our card. Got that right there. Okay, that, that's going to work good. This needs to be able to slide up and down. Here's the inside of our card. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I was going to flick this. Flick your label. Doesn't matter because you're not going to see it on any place else. Just like this. Do you see that? All the little flicks. I hope my lighting is good enough. And you can definitely see all the flicks here, right? Okay. Let me put this back together. Little belly band slides right on there. So the sample one that I made, hang on, let me grab that one. I left the tails a little longer on the ribbon, and I do kind of recommend that. Coming! There we go. Okay, so these tails are just a little bit longer. I like how they stick out there. Here is our awesome gatefold card. And this is the one we just made. Last but not least, we're going to add one of our iridescent pearls on here. Look how pretty those are, right? They're so pretty. And I'm going to add that right to my spider. See that? Isn't that cool? So a whole suite of products that matches makes my life easier when I'm designing things. I, I really do love that. All right, so here's our gatefold card. Next up is a little treat pouch. And we are going to use this designer series paper for our treat pouch. We're going to have a little bit of scoring to do. So I've got a piece of Blackberry Bliss here. I'm going to bring in my trimmer. We're going to score this. This is 10 by six and a half. Now, we're going to be putting a little pouch in here, a little um, brownie pouch thing. Depending on how big your little pouch is, the brownie pouches are bigger than like a hot chocolate or some type of a latte powder type mix. So based on what you're going to put inside of it is how big your this layer needs to be. If you're putting in something a little bit smaller, you can just have simply a card, the same size as a card, eight and a half by five and a half, and that'll work fine too. Oh, I forgot. We're going to do this. So now you're going to fold on your score line. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to take this side and I'm going to cut this. And there's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no, I didn't measure, oops, I didn't measure anything, but I'm going to put my score line in the channel that's going to cut, and I am just cutting that off. There you go. Now, if you need a measurement, <laughs> it's down about three and a quarter inches, okay? So I just cut down three and a quarter inches. This will make a great little um, treat holder for any occasion, holiday, Christmas, Valentine's Day, any of the things. All right, um, where did my white, I had a white scrap. How come I keep losing all my, oh, it's right here. Losing all my white scraps. Okay, so we're going to take this layer and we're going to stamp some bats on it. And this is going to be really subtle, so you're not really going to see it. It's not going to stick out and be real bold, but I just thought it was pretty cool looking. I'm going to put some bats right down here, kind of going off the page, and then I'm going to put some right up here. Again, kind of going off the page. So that's what I did. And then we've got the um, open if you dare. I'm going to bring back in the Blackberry Bliss. And we're going to stamp that on here. Circle punch. 
Now I'm going to keep my open, if you dare, towards the bottom. Okay, so that's why I'm punching it out with a two inch circle punch. Then we've got this piece of glimmer paper. We also need another bat here. So I, I need a big bat. I don't need the small one, so that'll work fine. And I'm gonna bring in my layering circle dies, maybe. I have a scallop die here somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. It disappeared. Well, I better find that. Anyways, I'll find it later. But you need a scrap so that you can do a scallop, okay? And now we're going to take this and add it to here. Now it really bothers me that I lost that die. But I know it's got to be here someplace because I just used the darn thing. Anyways, let's keep moving along. <laughs> Like, Kelly, let it go. I'm going to use tear and tape for this. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I don't know which adhesive is going to be the best to glue cardstock onto glitter paper. But I know that this will work well. And as long as I have it out here, we're going to roll with it. Okie dokie. I think it might be time. Oh, gosh, all I have is these pumpkins left. I just don't like them. They're too much. <laughs> We're going to do some splatter on this too. It just kind of tones that white down. I like the look that it gives you. And I've already die cut this with our die. Here comes our bat. We're going to do another dimensional on there. Oh, we're going to get my hair out of it first. How about that? Here comes our bat. I'm going to kind of tilt it a little bit, just like this. And then, where did our pearls go? Right here. Here comes our pearls. And let's see, I'm going to put one right over here. I love these. They're really, really pretty. Oh, there's a piece of fuzz. Look at how neat that looks. Isn't that cool? Okay, now we can put our pouch together. Oh, we gotta put some tear and tape in here. Like I said, you can make this for any occasion. I think you're gonna like this one because it's quick and easy, but it's really cool. Tear and tape right here on the bottom. And yay. Then I'm going to bring in my detailed trio punch and I'm going to put it in where there's only just a single hole. So I'm going to kind of put it up here so I can see what I'm going to do. And you might have to stand up because we're going through two pieces of cardstock. That can be a little tough sometimes. This piece of designer series paper is one and a half by um, 12. We may need to trim it a little bit. But that's going to go, whoops, again, I'm going to start in the back. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and center it just like this. And this you can pull fairly tight around here. There we go. And again with the tear and tape. When you're doing 3D items like this, you don't want things to fall apart. And lots of times if you use other adhesives, with 3D items, they just don't hold up as well. Better be to be safe than sorry, right? Okay, so here comes our, I wanna make sure these meet up good. You could trim a little bit off of this, it's kinda of long, but whatever. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. This one is not gonna move, so you don't need to worry about, you know, how tight it is. I'm just gonna do, some of my black mini glue or dimensionals here and I want to give it some good stability we don't want this to fall off I'm really kind of obsessed about things not falling apart aren't I it's a little weird I'm not gonna lie <laughs> here we go look at how cute that is okay last but not least the ribbon 
this is called ribbon trim. Is it called trim? Metallic ribbon. It is called ribbon. I said that earlier, but did you notice how I just completely forgot? Now, I didn't do anything to the side except wrap that band around it of designer series paper. So I didn't like put any adhesive in there. You could if you want, but it's not necessary. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a bow right on the edge here with this funky ribbon. I think it's the coolest stuff. Nice big bow. Spread this out. I like to hold my tails when I'm pulling that down. It just keeps things nice so they don't get all curly and weird. Okay, what are we going to put in here? What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty cool? I think it's pretty cool. Okay, um, this is what we're going to put in there. Mug treats, brownie mix, and the frosting. So, watch this. This I think this is a caramel frosting. Let me show you where these come from. Oh, hot fudge brownie mixed with fudge toppings. So these are Betty, Betty Crocker little treats in a mug thing. And you get four pouches and four topping things in a box. But this is the kind of cute little gift that I love to make up because number one, it's inexpensive, right? You can do four with this one box. It's just a nice little thought, the thought that counts. And who doesn't want hot fudge brownies? And if you don't want hot fudge brownies, you probably can't be my friend. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so here we go with both of these. Are these not just really cool? Again, you can use this gatefold for any type of card. You can also make a pouch for hot chocolate or any little thing that'll fit in here with Christmas colors or snowmen, you know, blues with the snowmen. The last thing that I wanted to do is to get myself a matching envelope. Where's my glue? Right here. So I've got one of our Whisper White envelopes here and I'm just going to put some glue around my flap. You guys know that I love to do this. I'm going to use the spider side. This is two and a half by six. That'll fit nicely. And just turn this off. Oh my gosh, I'm like I'm so happy that I was able to do this project for you guys tonight because it was not looking good. <laughs> like I'm like, oh my lord. So the one thing that I still have to do, I've got 10 videos to make. I know you guys are waiting for the Arrange a Wreath online class, and I said that I would have that out to you by Friday, the 2nd of October. And I'm leaving in the morning to go away for three days, and I better get my butt in gear tonight. It's only 12.30 now, so that wasn't too bad, was it? What do you guys think? Is that not super cute? All right, don't forget, I have online classes available. The Arrange a Wreath is my newest one, and I always appreciate your orders. Designer Series Paper, we have several, several, like, I don't know, there's like, if there's 13 of them that are on sale, this is one of them. This is beautiful paper. I think you'll really like it. And I will see you back here. Let me look at my calendar on October 11th at 7 p.m. Central Time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This was not as funny as a real live, right? Because I don't have any of you guys like saying goofy things to me that I say goofy things back. But it's the next best thing that I could do for you tonight. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye-bye.